what we got here for your answers recording recording it no response no responses I have a solve. It's just, but the the question is asking to line up. There you go. I got one correct answer there. That's it. Did you guys? Oh, I'm not, I'm worried about this test, guys. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about the test coming up. Andy. So the answer should look like this, guys. So we're going to use this one to line it up. So we have here. Let's put our original one. 3x plus 4y equals negative 18. And let's set up for elimination. I have my 4x, which is above, below the x, plus y equals negative 11. And now let's set up for elimination. Okay. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it. Leotali, can you see my board, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull it down a little bit, though. Okay, so anyway, let's solve this by substitution. Look at y equals. Let's practice solving this by substitution. I want you guys to do this with me. I have here 3x plus 4. Now I leave my y blank. Andy, two more minutes here. Equals negative 18. Andy, I can't hear him. Andy, can you talk? Andy. Yeah, I'm, my bad. I was feeding the dogs right now. I was, no I was so, right now. dude. You don't even understand. I was so worried. I was like calling on you, and then yeah, I'm and sorry. then and because Lucas, I, I, have, I have baby dogs, so I had to feed them. No, 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 here. dude, Andy, don't worry about it. I was just worried, and then Lucas was going crazy. <laughs> like he was like, "I'm Lucas. We found him, Lucas." Yeah, I'm I, sorry. I was, he was going like. He was going like spider monkey on me. He like he like attacked my like. Did you can you see this little scar right here? Yes, that sir. was from Lucas. <laughs> he just did that on me. Yeah, I'm sorry though. No, you're cool. I think Lucas has rabies, guys. <laughs> so I think I might start going rabies crazy. He just bit me. <laughs> right. What happens when you have rabies? How does a how does a person act when they have rabies? I think they probably go like that or something. Hey, I, you know what? I have an idea. Should I start teaching like a rabid teacher? Right? I'll teach class like I like I'm rabid. Right? I'm just gonna start like right should, should i do that all right I'm, I'm... right right like that rabies what do you think leilani zavala what do you think should i teach like i have rabies i'm a rabid teacher should i do that I don't know. I don't even know if that's a yes or a no. Let's see, Olivia, what do you think? What do you think, Olivia? Should I, would that be more interesting? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Lucas, you have rabies. Leave me alone. Oh. Okay, here we go. So 4y, set of y, let's plug in negative 4x minus 11. You guys go ahead and solve for x with that, okay? Go to, <laughs> right? Go to, oh my gosh. The rabies are taking over on me. I'm going to try to remain calm because Lucas just bit me, like, right here on my shoulder. Can you see? Oh. Okay, I'm going to take roll while you guys solve that, though. I am, I'm trying to stay in control. This rabies is trying to keep me under control. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Shoot, this is being recorded, too. I don't want to be seen as the 
like at least you guys are safe if i was in the school you guys would not be safe so at least we're behind camera I, if i become like a werewolf or something i uh i cannot harm you solve for x <laughs> you guys can't see me, but I'm <laughs> oh, my head. It, I got it like a headache. It's like, oh, that my rabies headache. Oh, Chris, I am put the call. Rosa Balderas. Did you call me? I called. Who is that? Who said that? Crystal. Yes, I did. You are. You are here. Rosa Balderas. Here. Antonio Cervantes. Here. Edith T. Borges. Here. Sherlyn Coronado. Naomi Cortez. Abigail Gonzalez. She says she All right, very good. Abigail's here. Octavio Guerra. Here. David Guzman. Here. Alberto Juarez. Here. Angelina Liu. Crystal Magallanes. Yeah. Was that Crystal or Angelina? I don't even know who that was. Angelina. Okay, Daniel Mejia. Here. Yeah. Edgar Mejia. Here. Leilani Mendoza. Yeah. Jose Mina. Noel Munoz. Here. Yeah. Elias Ortega. Angelina Here. Rodriguez. Here. Austin Rodriguez. Nicholas Rodriguez. Here. Olivia Sandoval. Here. Rosie Serrato. Here. Devin Solis. Italia Solorio. Here. Leitali Tuatama. Here. Andy Tumamate. Here. Gwynlyn Wilson and Leilani Zavala. Here. Okay, here's how I've absent. Let's do this again. Let's try to get this quick. Oh my gosh, the rabies. Oh, wait. Okay, let me calm down. Rabies kicking in. Oh, rabbit teacher, rabbit teacher. Okay, whoa. Okay, wait, I think I got this. I think I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Sherlyn Coronado. Naomi Cortez. Uh, Crystal Magallanes. Here. Jose Mina. Uh, Elias Ortega. Austin Rodriguez. Devin Solis. And Quinlan Wilson. So that's who I have absent. I'll say it one more time. I have Sherlyn Coronado, Naomi Cortez, Jose Mina, Elias Ortega, Austin Rodriguez, Devin Salas, and Quinlan Wilson are all absent. Sherlyn, are you there? Naomi, are you there? Yeah. Who's that? Naomi? Yeah, just went to the right. quick. Got Naomi. And let's see, Jose Mina. I don't even know what that guy looks like. Elias Ortega. Austin Rodriguez. Yeah. Who's Elias that? Ortega. Elias, got you. Elias. Austin Rodriguez. Devin Solis. And Quinlan Wilson. Okay, so now I have Sherlyn Coronado, Jose Mina, Austin Rodriguez, Devin Solis, and Quinlan Wilson absent. Are any of those people here? Rabies. Oh, okay. I need my rabies shot. Ah, oh, freaking Lucas. Gosh, what have you done to me? Oh. <gasps> I'm holding it in. <laughs> Rabbit teacher. Rabbit teacher. Oh, okay. Rabbit teacher. Okay. All right, let's see what you guys got for your answers. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. Do you know? No. 
No one solved for x. X is negative 2, negative 3. I think that was there before. Negative 2, very good. Negative 2. Anyway, I'm just going to go and solve it. Here we go. Boom. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve it. So look, <clears throat> 4 times. You got to multiply 4 times that, 4 times that. And just rewrite everything. Right? So we have 3x. 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x. 4 times negative 11 is negative 44 equals negative 18. Now, 3x take away 16x. Now, this is going to be more negative, so it'll be negative 13x, right? This time, subtract 16 minus 3 is 13. Add more negatives, it's negative. Minus 44 equals negative 18. And then we just, you know, solve for x. Add 44. I mean, you guys really have to practice this. You have to practice this. You guys really need to practice this tonight. This is what you need for uh, Math 2. You guys are ready. You're pretty much Math 2ers now, right? It's already mid-May. We have less than a month and school's over. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh. Ah. My eyes twitching. Ah. ah. Crystal, it's a good thing you're not in the classroom now. You know what I mean, Crystal Magallanes? Yeah. Crystal, are you there? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to hold the rabbit thing back, Crystal. How am I doing? Am I okay? I'm not making you nervous, am I, Crystal? Uh, no. Okay, good. Naomi, how about you? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. It's almost like I'm turning into a werewolf. That's what I feel like. Oh. Right? You know what I mean? Okay. So you guys got to know how to do this. So subtract different signs. So we subtract uh, 44 minus 18, uh, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 26. So it'll be 44 minus 18, 26. It's positive. So that's positive. Rosa and so, Edith are typing in the chat. What? Roses and Edith are typing in the chat. They're having problems right there. Uh oh. What's going on? Wi Fi issues. Can I watch the meet later? Because I can. Well, try to come back. Or can you, Edith, can you? Okay. Well, I mean, you guys just do your best. If you can't stay, you can't stay. I can't blame you for that. Is it because I'm a werewolf or my rabies, Edith? I hope that's not making you nervous. Like I said, Lucas, man, I'm telling you, you're making it worse. Look at Edith is trying to trying to stay in the class, but you're freaking her out. So is Rosa. Hey, I'll t I'll keep Lucas under control, Rosa. It's okay, Rosa. Is it Lucas? You're scaring the students. I never should have got that pet monkey. All right. Anyway, 26 divided by negative 13 is X equals negative. Thanks for letting me know about the chat. I think that was, was that you, Abigail? Thank you very much. Or whoever did that. X is negative 2. Plug the negative 2 back into the equation. Y equals negative 4 times X minus 11. Plug in our negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. Y equals 8 minus 11. 8 minus 11 is negative 3. Was that my answer? Negative 2, negative 3. Anyway. Whoa. It's good that the Wi Fi, I'm telling you guys, because I don't want to hurt you. I don't know what's overcoming me with this rabies thing. I, I'm like not myself. I wouldn't hurt you, but I would just like, ah, why? Ah. Oh. oh, whoa, okay. I'm holding it in. All right, let's do the next one. Uh, let's see. Angelina Lou, do you have any questions? Angelina Lou. Yes. Do you have any questions? 
on this no. problem? All no. right. All right, very good. Let's go with, uh, let's see. Uh, David Guzman, you have any questions on this one? Uh, no. Okay. Did, did you understand that from top to bottom? Yeah, I kind of understand it. All right. How about you, Noel Munoz? Guys, turn your cameras on. Noel, are you okay with it? Do you understand this, Noel? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Kind of like on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being you totally understand it, 1 being you don't understand it at all. Noel? Probably like an 8. No, it's not bad. Okay. Let's uh let's move to the next one. Okay, so here's what the answer should look like. I mean, you guys have it on the pair deck. Look at the answer on the pair deck. That's what the answer is what it's looking looking for. So, but they just want to set it up for the elimination. Then I just went ahead and solved it for the um I just solved. Here's the answer I'm presenting it. This is it. The x line with the x, the y line with the y, number 9 with the number. And that's what we got. Okay, solve the system. Okay, so guys, go ahead and solve this. Let's set it up. Negative two x. Uh, let me write over here. So have more room. We have. Sorry, my floor is all squeaky. Negative two x minus two y equals negative eight. And then three x plus six y equals twenty one. Okay, so what process am I going to use to solve this here? Elimination? Yes, very good. Elimination. Who said that? Thank you so much for saying that. I was like, not on my screen. Italia, very good, Italia. So, yeah, so use the elimination method. All right? So look at, because the X is lined with the X, the Y is lined with the Y, and the number is lined with the number. The problem is none of these are the same. So... Help me out here. Someone in the class who can figure out what should I eliminate, the X or the Y? Now you can eliminate both, but one of these is easier to eliminate. Which one do you think? Which one should I eliminate? Can anyone just give me a suggestion and let me know? I think I'm turning into a were monkey. You know, like if a werewolf bites you, you become a wolf. I think because of, I shut up, Lucas. I think because, oh, I think because Lucas bit me. Oh, I'm turning into a were monkey. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Octavia, okay, which one should I get rid of? Um, the Y. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we should get rid of the Y. Because I can change this to, what can I change it into, Octavio? You can change it into a negative six by multiplying by three. 100% correct. Let's multiply this by three. Multiply this by three, right? And then multiply everything by three. You guys set it up and go ahead and solve it. See what you guys get. Write the answer down. What is the x-intercept and the y-intercept? This is the last problem we're going to do. This is the last problem that we are going to do. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. I'll start writing steps up there every once in a while if you get stuck. Raise your hand if you need. Hey, since I need a little bit of help, give me one little step. Raise your hand. If I see a lot, I'll put an extra step up there. Okay. I see a couple. I'll put a step up in just a second. Okay. Hang on one second. I'm going to write the first step out right now. So don't look if you if you if you want to do that on your own. Don't look. I'm not even going to say anything.
There's the first step. If you want to see, check. That should set you up nicely for the elimination. So if you got that step, you're good. If not, check it out. See already. Do you, are there any questions on how I got that first step? It's important that you know how to get that first step. Can you move the camera more up? Oh yeah. Sorry. Thank you, Angelina. Is that better, Angelina? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Yeah. I got the answer. Okay, write it in the Pear Deck. Oh, okay. Write the answers in the Pear Deck. I can check so other people can get it, David. Thank you, though. That's awesome. Did you get the X and the Y, David? I'm sorry, what happened? Did you get the X and the Y? Uh... I don't understand by what you mean by that. Well, in all of these, we have the point the point of intersection. We solved for the X and the Y. We had like we had, you know, you had X comma Y. I don't know. Like <clears throat> if you must know, let's look at our other examples in the pair deck, right? Finding the point of intersection. Let's see, I'm gonna go here so you guys won't mess up your pair deck. Like, are you looking? Can you see it, David? Yeah. Look, the point of intersection here is negative 6, negative 1. That's my x, that's my y. This, uh, is from, this is from a previous problem, not the one we're doing. Oh, uh, yeah, I only got one of them so far. So you solve for x, right? Yeah. Because you eliminated the y. Now solve for y. Make sure you get that. I'm looking at the paradox. See how many of you got some answers. I only have eight out of 17 responses. Actually, 17. There's 23 of you here. I'm going to see who's who's not in this pair deck. Let me take a look. I'm going to look who's not in the pair deck. You guys, come on. Get in the pair deck. I'm going to take a picture of who's not. I can look at the list and then compare who's here. And maybe get in the pair deck. Who's not in? Just click on the pair deck thing. Oh, good. Good job. I'm seeing, I see like three, cor four correct answers, five correct answers. Wow. Okay. Uh, I only got five total. Some of you have not responded. I don't know. I'll assume this is hard stuff, but we got to know it. All right. I'm not going to look at the pair deck. We're just, I'm just going to show you how to do this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Bring it down a little bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve these. Negative 6x plus 3x, right? We have, they're, they're, there are different signs, so we subtract. 6 minus 3 is 3. Since I have more negatives, let me make that negative 3x. These cancel out. Bring your equal sign down. Different signs, so you subtract. Negative 24, 21 is 3. And I'm more negative, so it's negative 3. Now, 3x divided by negative 3x times x equals 3. Divide by negative 3. Remember, dividing two negatives equals a positive. x equals 1, which a lot of you got. Now, we got to solve for the – we got the 1. Dave Guzman, did you get the second one? Did you get the y by any chance? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, but do you know what to do? That's my. That's the problem. I still don't understand how to solve for the y. Okay, so look, I'm, I'm talking to you, okay, David? You right. take this one and you plug it to any one of these equations. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to do this black one here. It could be any one, right? I just see, see less negatives and stuff here. So, David, look, are you watching? 
So I say three times X plus six Y. I got a question for you, David. Why did I not put the X there? Uh, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. Because it's equal? Yeah, because I have X is equal to one. So instead of X, what am I going to put here? Uh, your Y. Da, 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 da. What is X equal to? One. One. So instead of X, what am I going to put here? One. One, because X is equal to one. That's why we do this whole idea of substitution. And now, David, since I'm talking to you, I can solve this. What is? What do I do next? What is it? Uh, you multiply three and one. Which is? Three. Okay, I'm rewrite everything else down. Dang. What do I do now? Uh, do you subtract six? What's furthest away from the Y? Is the six or the three furthest away? Uh, the three. So what do I do to get rid of that three? You subtract. Yeah, because it's a plus three, so I say away three. And I gotta do it over here, right? Keep it balanced. Now I got my six Y. 21 take away 3 is 18. Now what do I do, David? You divide 6 on both sides. Thank you. Which is, what's my Y equal to now? 3. There you go. Boom. 1, 3. And that's your answer. David Guzman, did that help you? Yeah, that helped a lot. I <laughs> Sorry, David, the rabbit teacher. David, David, did I, David, are you okay? Did I, did I intimidate you? David Guzman. Sorry, I was talking to my mom. What happened? Oh my gosh. Oh, did your mom see me just turn into a, a wear monkey? Oh no. No, she just called me and just checked on me. Oh, oh yeah. Cause she knows what, does she know what's going on? Does she know that I'm turning into a, a, a rabbit teacher? Does she know that? I don't want this no. to get out. You guys can't tell your parents that I'm turning into a rabid teacher. Angelina, don't let your parents know this because they'll never let. Oh, Angelina, Lou. Let's talk to both Angelinas. Angelina, Lou. Oh, no. Are you talking to your parents telling them I'm a rabid teacher? What? Did, oh, no. Did you tell your parents I'm turning into a rabid teacher? Angelina? Angelina Lou? Oh no, I'm really worried. Angelina Rodriguez? Did you tell your parents I'm turning into rabid teacher or wear monkey? No. Oh, thank goodness. Angelina Lou, are you there? Angelina Lou. Angelina Lou, I'm marking you absent. Angelina's not here. Angelina Lou, I'm marking you absent. Boom. Okay. Are there any questions? Naomi, are you telling your parent your parents that you have a rabid teacher? Hello. Who's that? Oh my God. Angelina Lou, where are you? How come you're not answering me? Angelina Lou. I don't know what's going on with Angelina. Naomi Cortez. What's up? Hello? Angelina, can you hear me? I don't think she can hear you. Angelina. All right. Naomi Cortez, are you there? Okay. Did you tell your parents I'm turning into wear wear monkey teacher, mm -hmm. rabid wear monkey? In secret, is safe. Thank you, Naomi. Whew. All right. I think that's the last lesson I have. Let me check the pair deck. That's it. So test tomorrow. Are there any questions on any of this? Uh, could you? 
uh, like scoot to the other side. I can't see the board, please. Thank you. All right. Well, David Hello. Guzman is writing that out. You guys can all Angelina Lou. Hello. I don't think she can hear you. I don't think so either. You guys can all go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. I will see Hello. you. Take care. Angelina Lou, how are you? Um, sorry, I was like lagging really bad. I I, that's okay. You're okay. I see that you're here. You're fine. Yes. The class, the um, class is over now. Sorry, my, my computer was really lagging. I couldn't turn the unmute button on. You're okay. Class is over. You're okay. Okay, bye. See you later. Bye, Edgar. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Alberto. Bye, Mr. Sanchez. Bye, Crystal. Bye, David. Bye, Sensei. Bye, Rosa. Don't worry, I'll take the rabies medication. All right. Let's see. Leilani, did your parents get the message? I texted them. Uh, no, I was actually going to talk to you about that again because uh, we never received a message. So it's still I, just, I, just, I just sent one. Oh, right like, now? No, no, yesterday. Let me see oh. who I sent it to. Let me yeah. tell you. Let me tell you the number I sent it to. Okay. And by the way, did, did you did you do? I was wondering, did you just do some assignments? Like, was there a missing assignment that brought your grade up? Or uh, I think I like retook the module two test. Oh, okay. I don't think it went through when I did it the first time. So. Oh, yeah. maybe that brought your, maybe that brought your grade up though. But whatever, yeah. it's fine. Okay. Because it is point. I sent it to this number. Okay. Uh, uh, 302 No. And 307-1396. Nope. Okay, it's not a parent's number. I, I'm really confused as to who I sent it to then. Hang on. Let me look. You might have confused it for the other Leilani. I'm wondering if I did. <laughs> But but that was the late. But that's. Hang on a second. Yeah, that is hers. Okay, yes. but you. But let me see. Did I send? Did I send it to you? I can't find that message that I sent to your parents. Hang on. First, let me find, let me. Okay. Let me, let me look at who I sent. Did I even send you one? 509-3885. 509-3882. Does that sound good? 509-3885? Yeah, that's, that's them. 509-3885. Hang on, let me. And then. Get to the bottom of this. Oh. Okay, I found it. Okay, I'll send the text. Hang on, I'll send it right now. Okay, thank you. So did you? Did, okay, when I send this message, did, did you do a? Did you did you remake the unit two test? Did you redo that? And did that bring your grade up? Uh, I don't know if it brought my grade up, but I turned it in like one day before you um, send out the text, so maybe, yeah. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll write something about, I don't know if it's the test or if I just miss, is, but your grade's up. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. I'm sending it right now. So, okay, I'll let you know. If it's a problem, let me know tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. Have a good day. All right, see ya. You're welcome. You, thanks for letting me know. Sorry about that. It's okay. Bye.
All right. Hello. What's up, Crystal? Hi. Um, before I leave, so, sorry. So but, nice to hear your voice because you're always just typing the whole time now. I know it's crazy. I'm I'm glad I got to like change it because I've been I was really busy yesterday. Like I slept at like I slept late, <laughs> but it was all for like good. I wasn't wasting my time. And I was like, oh well, I got a lot of stuff accomplished today, so I was really happy about that. And I was like. Well, I'm oh. glad because tomorrow I'm gonna go to school and I'm gonna talk to Mr. Sanchez. And then like we got I know. a we got a message. My mom got it, and then I saw that I got an email, and I was like, "Oh, what? What am I gonna do?" Because I really, I want to know exactly what assignment it is because they told me that you sent a message saying there's an assignment that will like. You haven't done anything. You have done nothing. You haven't yeah. done turn in one assignment. So anything you do will bring your grades up. So. Um, oh, let me stop recording this.